Thank you. Um, my name is uh, Anthony Milasampa. Um, I noticed there's a typo on my first name. There's an H after the T. Um, just a correction on, on the name. Um, so my dissertation is the development of a prediction model for tax assessments using data mining and machine learning tools. Um, so I'll quickly go into the presentation with the introduction and the background to the problem. So taxation is, uh, the taxation system is designed to fairly and equitably uh, collect contributions from systems, earning an income depending on their source of income. The principal concern of any country is to impose as many tax friendly taxes as possible to the, uh, the citizens uh, before moving forward to raising additional revenue needed from um, the other sectors. The goal of any revenue uh, collection authority is to efficiently and effectively assess taxpayers' declarations in order to calculate the correct amount of taxes uh, that's, that are supposed to be paid uh, via an assessment. Under the problem statement, we find that corruption is a very common vice in many countries, and uh, Zambia is no exclusion to this. Um, and it extends from citizens all the way to collection officers, um, leading to inconsistencies and incorrect assessments uh, of taxes. In Zambia, we have a self-declaration type of tax system. What that means is uh, uh, the citizens or the taxpayers declare their taxes um, based on how they feel the, the collections are supposed to be according to what what uh, uh, what they know what they know and what they have uh, transacted. In most countries, the percentage of uh, tax returns uh, that are subject to go through tax audits are uh, usually quite small because of this uh, problem and the ratio of tax officers to uh, taxpayers um, is, is there's usually a, a quite a bit, a bit of a gap, uh, meaning that uh, only a small population or a small population of the tax returns gets to be assessed and audited, uh, leaving the other percentage um, and, and assessed. Fraud remains one of the biggest challenges in tax compliance in many countries around the world. Um, according to the Financial Intelligence uh, Trends Report of 2021, um, in 2019, tax evasion cases uh, by value were recorded at uh, 144 uh, million, uh, and by 2021, the value had risen to uh, 722 million. And uh, due to the large number of declarations by, found by taxpayers, it becomes very difficult for uh, tax officers to review all these cases and make the necessary adjustments to, to these. So in this research, we propose the potential and practical ev evidence-based solution um, for improvement to the existing implementation of uh, tax audit and uh, assessment process using uh, computer-aided tools for prediction and uh, automation. The screen here I'm sharing, I'm sharing on the screen just shows a screenshot of uh, uh, the trends report from FIC and the collections uh, uh, report over the years between uh, 2021, 2022, and 2023 uh, from, the, from the perspective of the target versus uh, the revenue actually collected. Our aims for this uh, was to develop a prediction model for tax assessments using uh, data mining and machine learning tools. And uh, our objectives was to develop three models um, using data mining and evaluate and compare and identify the predictor mod prediction module that will perform best and develop a prototype for the integration um, with a prediction model. Our research questions um, were to find out what are the major challenges affecting tax compliance, 
and how could we use data mining and machine learning to identify tax assessments for audit. And we are trying to see how we can enhance the current audit process based on the model developed. The scope of the study uh, was carried out on the Bambi Revenue Authority and we used the uh, tax assessment declaration data over a period. Um, and we developed uh, three models uh, with the comparison of their, of their performance. Um, the relevance to the, uh, to the study, um, one of the, the biggest challenges that tax authorities face across the world is uh, ensuring that uh, the correct amount of taxes are collected from taxpayers in the country. And uh, this style stems from multiple factors, uh, such as complex tax laws, poor administrations, and data quality. Uh, contribution to the Board of Knowledge, uh, uh, paper, we published a paper in the Artificial Intelligence uh, Application and Networks and Systems uh, Proceeding of, 12, of the 12th Computer Science Online Conference in 2023. And the, the research is meant to help ZRA improve the efficiency of the human resource in the audit section and the assessment pro, uh, process by providing automated uh, uh, systems for detection of high value assessments. So under literature review, we looked at uh, now, the factors that, are, that influence tax compliance, uh, the audit process, and the related work. The following are some of the key influences um, on tax compliance. We've got eight minutes left. Okay, so I'll just uh, highlight a few and to move on to the next slide. Um, people, well, some of the major ones uh, are that uh, taxpayers evade tax if they feel they're not getting their money's worth. Uh, others feel that uh, the government does not put their taxes to the right uh, needs. Um, other factors include literacy and inadequacy of taxpayer education. Um, the audit process is normally initiated when a tax inspector sends a notice to a taxpayer uh, requesting for an audit and some additional information and uh, a meeting is held between the taxpayer and the auditor and during the meeting the issues that have been found are uh, discussed within with the taxpayer some of the related works that uh, uh, that we looked at regarding this uh, we looked at some uh, some research which was done uh, where there was a proposed uh, decision support tool for type of prediction of tax reporters using a genetic algorithm. Um, another research was done to, um, to find, uh, to predict, to create a model to predict tax declarations using uh, the Markov model. And uh, we have the gaps that were identified in these researches and uh, these are what are shown in the slide. Under the methodology, the data was uh, extracted um, from uh, the, the uh, relational database management system of the main tax administration system and uh, using SPO uh, in CSV format. We used the CRISP DM reference model for the data mining process and the preparation um, of the data. And uh, we I were able to identify nine features that were used to uh, create the model. Um, this screen here just shows uh, the distribution of uh, the uh, nine features and uh, from the data that was uh, extracted. We used three um, models for training the uh, three, three, we created three models uh, using three different algorithms, um, the random forest, um, the support vector machine and uh, adaptive boost, uh, taking into advantage, uh, taking into, uh, taking advantage of their advantages um, as highlighted, um, and uh, 
and we 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 looked at the, the architecture of the system. The, the system was uh, five uh, minutes was, remaining. Okay, the system was developed to be a web-based application, and we developed two modules for the system: uh, a web-based application for interaction and interface with the system users. And uh, we developed an API, a REST API uh, application for interface, a standard interface with any external system um, using REST web services. We also implemented the system system security to ensure that data is encrypted as it is transmitted to a third party um, using, uh, um, using symmetric uh, key encryption. This screenshot shows uh, a screenshot of uh, the login uh, page that is faced that the taxpayer faces as they log into um, to the screen and uh, the subsequent home page, showing them the various options that they can use on the system. Uh, amongst the options is where they are allowed to make predictions over a particular period, and the system returns the results of the predictions for the taxpayers. Uh, for that particular period. Um, for the uh, evaluation, we use the score method library, the confusion matrix, the rock curve, and the logarithmic loss um, to evaluate the models. Um, the, the, the screen on the, the page on the screen shows the results for the three models. Using the random for uh, using the uh, uh, score method and the uh, logarithmic loss. This page shows the results of the rock curve um, for the three models. And the next few slides show the uh, confusion matrix uh, results for, for the three models. This final page shows uh, the cumulative results for the three models, and uh, we're able to see the models that perform best. So we we were able to use we were able to we were able to see that uh, the, the uh, that there was an we were able to see that there was an upward increase in trends in terms of tax value uh, for tax evasion cases from 2019 to 2022 due to undetected audit cases. And the number of assessments um, uh, has been on a rise from that period. And uh, we have some statistics there uh, showing some records of the assessment by value uh, for certain tax types um, over that period. The overall results from the evaluation of the three models shows us that uh, random forest model performed best, uh, which gave us uh, an accuracy of about 48, 84% and a precision of 77%. Uh, we further developed the prototype, which integrates with uh, other systems. Um, in conclusion, the potential benefits for from improving and making this process more efficient uh, will have a positive impact on the revenue uh, collection. And the insights gained from this research will help the authority narrow down the process and uh, make the process more efficient. The model will help reduce corruption from officers and uh, its ability to integrate with other systems uh, gives it a high value in that existing systems uh, external systems do not need to be developed from scratch. The authority needs to uh, maximize on the target audits by effect, using effective scientific automated methods such as this. And uh, based on these results uh, and the prototype that we developed, we're able to determine that the system could be used for the integration um, in the, the main tax administration system. Um, it is also recommended that the authority embarks on programs to improve data quality, uh, as that was one of the challenges that was faced in the, during the data collection and the data processing. Um, 
it is also recommended that uh, the authorities. So you can, you can make conclusions quickly. Okay. It's also recommended that the authority would consider implementing auto assessments um, from from uh, suspicious cases that have been found based on this model. Um, the next slide uh, shows the references that were used, and uh, I'd like to acknowledge the efforts of uh, my supervisor, Dr. Jackson Peary, and the entire uh, computer science and uh, natural science school of natural sciences at the university. Um, this ends my presentation. Thank you.